Kurt, would you lead us in a word of prayer? <coughs> Lord, we come to you today. Thank you for a, a beautiful day we've had. Lord, comfort those who've lost loved ones and, and heal those that are sick. Go with us tonight as we do this meeting and help Trimble County go forward and, and, and the job we do. Bless, bless the men and women that's in uniform. Forgive us of our sins where we fall short, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you all for coming tonight. I do have a section on the agenda for public comment. So I'm sure you all do have comments, and I appreciate your comments. Uh, but if you could, just wait till we get to that section, and then everybody will have their chance to speak. How's that sound? Okay. There you go. All right. Uh, welcome, everybody. And Susan, if you would call the roll. All right, thank you very much. Uh, now, folks, if you would uh, look over the minutes from the meeting, regular meeting on December 11th, 2018. We'll move. Second. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Uh, Aye. All right, thank you. Any opposed? All right, and now the uh, regular meeting on December 17th, 2018. Motion to approve. We have a motion to approve. Second. We have a second. <coughs> Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Thank you very much. Now the special meeting on January 7th, 2019. <coughs> Motion. Second. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Uh, <coughs> Thank you. Now we'll move into the treasurer's report. Okay, as of December 31st, 2018, our total um, CDs and passbooks total $668,124.50. Uh, both CDs came due in December, and um, we renewed those for three months, uh, at both of them at 0.50%. So they'll both come due again in March. Um, on the financial statement, our grand total of, uh, including all of our checking accounts, including the uh, <coughs> passbooks and CDs, total two million one hundred and ninety-four thousand six hundred and nineteen thousand and six dollars and six cents. Any questions? On the financial. No. And then we have the monthly. Revenues and appropriations. Any other questions on the monthly from December 1st to December 31st? Okay. All right. Do we have a motion to approve the treasurer's report? I'll make a motion. All right. A second. A second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? All right, thank you very much. Okay. Then we have the quarterly report. Um, it's the same as the um, monthly report, except for in the column um, uh, totals received this period, and that those totals are for from October the 1st, 2018 to December 31st, 2018. And this will be for the second quarter of the fiscal year. Any questions on the quarterly report? need a motion to approve. Motion to approve. Thank you, Kenny. We have a motion to approve the quarterly report. Do we have a second? Second. Second. Any discussion? No. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, thank you. Transfers? Transfers. Okay, transfers. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> in the transfers, the only um, 
transfer is in the road fund and we're requesting a two thousand dollar tra transfer from reserve for transfers to asphalt and also um in the cash on the cash transfers where both of these are in the general fund we're requesting uh, from the general fund to the jail fund a transfer of eighteen thousand dollars and then in the L from the general to the LGEA fund three thousand dollars so move thank you do we have a second second we have a second any discussion all those in favor all right. uh, any opposed all right thank you very much uh, claims. Um, does everybody have the new the <coughs> recap? Oh, recap sheet. Okay. Um, <coughs> in the general fund, uh, the January pre-approved court claims totaled four thousand four hundred and eighty-six dollars and thirty-five cents, and the January court claims totaled twenty-five thousand eight hundred and thirty-three dollars and eighty-two cents. That makes the total of the general fund claims thirty thousand three hundred and twenty dollars and seventeen cents. Any questions on the general fund? Motion to approve. Thanks, Ken. Second. All right. Thank you, guys. And any discussion? All right. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? <coughs> All right. Thank you. And the road fund. Um, the January pre-approved court claims are seven hundred and thirty-four dollars and ninety-three cents, and the January court claims are eight thousand forty-three dollars and fifty cents. It makes the total road fund claims $8,778.43. Any questions on the road? So moved. Thank Second. you, Kirby. Thank you, J.D. Any discussion? All those in favor? Uh, uh, uh. Any opposed? All right, thank you, guys. In the, in the jail fund, there were no uh, January pre-approved court claims, and the January <coughs> court claims totaled $14,510.14. And that makes the total jail fund claims fourteen thousand five hundred and ten dollars and fourteen cents. Any questions? I approve. All right. We have a motion to accept. Do we have a second? Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you. And in the LGEA fund, the January pre-approved court claims are eight hundred and sixty dollars and fifty-five cents. And the January court claims are one thousand one hundred and twenty dollars, and that makes the total LGEA fund claims a uh, total one one thousand nine hundred and eighty dollars and fifty five cents. So moved. Thank you, Kirby. Second. Move second. Any discussion? All, right. All those in favor? All right. All right. Any opposed? All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much, Thank Regina. You. Thank you, Regina. Thank you. Thank you. Have a wonderful <coughs> evening. Outro. All right. All right, we'll move right along to uh, Sheriff Kelton to give a sheriff's report. <coughs> what, what would you like me to say? Yes. I don't want to get in trouble again. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, Judge, thank you. I'm not sure what uh, really you wanted here. I'm, I'm not, I don't, we do so much, it's hard to do a rundown of all the accidents and collisions and all that. But it is a new court, so I thought I'd just give a little uh, little overview of what uh, we have in the sheriff's office. We're, we're staffed with 13 personnel. That sounds like a big big sheriff's department, doesn't it? Uh, there's two full-timers, myself, Lonnie Gullion are the full-timers. Uh, he is a, he's also the school resource officer. We have four certified uh, deputies that are retired from other agencies, so they're all part-timers. We have Vicki, who's part-timer. Uh, we have three court security officers they're all part-timers and we have three special deputies uh, and we can't there is no pay for those guys we buy them some equipment uh, and really their only job is to kind of supplement if we need if we have a big event or something we need some traffic work or if, uh, we have a ball game or something we need to let them <coughs> go out and handle crowd you know they're usually assigned with another deputy um, but again there's no pay for those guys and they're you just buy equipment um, we work with an annual budget somewhere around a little shy of 350,000. We're usually around 330. It's a fee office, so all the all the the budget is based on the number of fees that the sheriff's office brings in. <coughs> we pay the salaries. Well, the county pays the salary. We pay them back at the end of each quarter. <coughs> um, so uh, we collect fees on 
basically tax collection. <laughs> CC did when you get your carry concealed license. Uh, there's a fee with that. Fingerprinting, uh, all the little inspections. If you buy a car out of out of state, um, uh, school the school pays a portion of the SRO's salary. Uh, of course, we're always available. I've got two night shift deputies um, that are out most nights. Of course, we get supplemented by the state police quite a bit, but uh, usually they're out till 11 or close to midnight on most nights. Um, but other than that, we, you know, we answer calls and work collisions and collect taxes and run an office over there. So any questions from you guys? All right, very Thanks. good. Thank you, Sheriff. <clears throat> All right, moving right along to uh, EMS report from Director McCoy. We, uh, we also have full-time staff and part-time staff. Uh, we have seven full-time employees um, and approximately 14 part-time employees. Um, things that we've done this month is we've reformatted uh, some aspects of our billing agency uh, to increase the speed of return on revenue. Um, we've reached out to uh, other dialysis agencies within our region looking for uh, additional transports. Um, so far this month we've performed 43 calls. Um, the total electron electronic revenue received in the month of December was $19,749 even. Um, and so far this month we've collected uh, $4,030 97 cents in mail-in uh, funds from people that are paying their bills. Um, we've added uh, companies that we're ordering supplies from and uh, doing price quotes every time we place an order to ensure that we're getting the best deal. Um, the dialysis transport that we were currently doing, uh, we will no longer be doing. She passed away. Um, we're working on trying to find other avenues to supplement revenue for that. Uh, my goal is by the end of the month to uh, make contact with our mutual aid agencies and renegotiate our contracts because they're very, very old. So, uh, any questions from you guys? The door still open for additional uh, dialysis transfer Absolutely. transports if somebody is in need. So. Yes, we we're just uh, trying to find someone that meets the medical necessity. So uh, the two uh, other dialysis uh, places in LaGrange, which is in our region, said that no one from Trimble County that goes there meets the standard for ambulance transport. So <coughs> how, how do we come out on our repairing our ambulance? Like, did it get repaired? It is still in the shop. Still in the shop. Um, the question you had asked me last uh, last meeting was uh, if there was someone in the county with an alignment right that could trip, that could uh, alarm our ambulance. Uh, the answer is no. Okay. Um, I appreciate you looking into it. No problem. I'd like to use as many people from inside the county to work on if we could. So thanks for looking. No problem. The new one. We heard any? Um, I talked to the manufacturer today. Um, they are mailing me uh, the drawings for uh, the build. Should have them by probably the end of the week. We'll go over them, <coughs> make sure that everything's the way we want it, and then we'll go on the build line. That's all I got. All right. Thank you, Director McCoy. Thank you. All right. We'll move right along to the solid waste report. Mr. Piles. Uh, I was out there talking to Jake this past week, and uh, they're going to do a bunch of upgrades this summer for the gas wells. Uh, they've been having problems, some blowing off. That's why you might have been smelling some out there. They caught one last week and had it, had it repaired. Uh, they built a new leachate tank, 435,000 gallon. And they've been, last October, November, and December, they hauled out 4.4 .4 million gallons of leachate at a cost of 40 cents per gallon. 
test for the hall and the fee to get it cleaned up down a little bit. So, you know, they're spending a lot of money. So, you know, there's a lot of money involved in this. They're building a new uh, cell this summer. So anybody new wants to go out there, I can take them out there. Of course, I know Kirby knows all about that stuff. And want to look at it, the new construction site and how they do it, I'll be willing to take them out there. So I ain't had no trouble with roads or anything. Kenny, you had any calls or anything on? No, it's been pretty peaceful. Yeah, that's all I've got. Good, good deal. Thank you, Mr. Piles. All right, we'll move right along to animal control. Uh, Jacob Callis, come on up. I don't really know a whole lot yet. It's just my first week. But, uh, he's looking into getting a new sign. The wind tore down the old sign. And uh, looking into ordering shirts and stuff. Okay. But, just taking a lot of dogs this week? We've got 12 right now. It took like five, I think, in the past three days. Okay. But two of them was drop offs, um, one or two of them was pickups, and the other one was straight. Have you had a lot of people calling you or anything to? I don't know, I'm decent, one. a decent bit of calls. We had somebody cancel on an adoption the other day, but... Oh. Uh, all right. Are you talking 12 dogs from this county? Um, we have 12 dogs from both of them combined. Okay. They all go to the same place. Well, do you know how many you picked up here in this county? From Trumbull County, I think there was one for sure. Um, I think most of those were from Henry County. But what, one or two for sure from Henry or Trumbull. I mean. What number did we reach you at? What number? Yes. Um, Animal Patrol Office, 502 255 0111. Sure. Yeah, 0111. That's Trumbull County. Do you have a cell? Yeah, I have a cell phone number. It's 502 221 5854. And I'll bring you a paper whenever he gets the estimates and stuff. Yeah. Good deal. All right. So any, any other questions for him, guys? Who, who's he? <coughs> uh, Dan, the other animal control guy for Henry County. He's giving me estimates on the sign. On the sign for you. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks. Is, is this something you think the insurance might cover? Or probably I'm not, not sure. Cause I, I don't know. They want a complete new sign anyway. I think he wants to get one metal instead of wood because the wood rotted and wind just ripped it off. So it's probably nature over time, not just yeah. one incident. Yeah. That's so probably. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he's going to report yeah, back. Yeah. I mean, going back. Couple, couple of bids mm -hmm. on it if we can. Yeah. <coughs> All right, we will move right along to the road department report with Mike Stewart. <coughs> hey, we had a little snow. Everything was still running good. And had no break down or nothing. Had one slide off and nothing got tore up. But everything's looking good so far. We've been bringing up a few senders. Shaking on, getting ready for another. Taking it stocked up up there on top. Been doing some ditching, stuff down on the river. A few other places. Cleaning up a few trees and stuff. So that's about it. Everything running pretty smooth so far. Very good. And and Mike, about the uh, <coughs> the tracks for the skid steer. Uh, how soon do you need those? Well, I, that one's tore. Okay. About almost and a half, about, three, about a quarter across. So, Kirby, I think he's going to see about looking into it too. But I was telling him that, that price there was about a year ago. We oh, okay. checked in them. That guy said, I'll give you something to, to uh, go by here. Or something. Okay. That better than your hires does the skid steer have on it? I think it's about 15, maybe, maybe 14, 15 right in there. Mm. I'd say it's getting right in there. 100. I think it's getting about due. You know, I think he said, told us about 15 on it. They last a little longer if uh, you kept them in the dirt, but we ain't in the dirt very much. Oh, them rock off sharp. Yeah, very tight. Yes, sir. Yeah. I will say this, Mike. I was, I was, I was out about 6 30, an hour and a half there the other morning, and you all were doing a real good job. I, I think the guys are doing, you know, they were getting used to it. Yeah. But going it, was pretty yeah good it, was, it was coming down pretty good that time. Yeah. You all was, you all was on it for a while. Yeah. Do we have plenty of cinders in stock? I'd say we got pretty good shape for this year. With you know, being a little January like it is, you might want to look around. I think you can deal with that. Kirby always helps us out on all that. Good, good, good. Any other questions <coughs> for him, guys? No? 
All right, we'll move right along to Director uh, Andrew Stark for Department of Ma <coughs> Emergency Management. He's not here. All right, we'll move right along to uh, Soil Conservation District with uh, Jonathan Turner. Can I ask you something about the emergency management? Really? Sure. Have you heard anything on our the uh, FEMA claim? Andrew FEMA? texted me the other day, and I left my phone in the office. I don't remember the number, but he said there was it was like thirty. Five thirty-six thousand. I don't remember <coughs> the exact number of, of monies that we're going to be able to get and get started down there. Okay. Yeah. Cooper's bottom. Yeah. yeah. And I know JD's got a road in his district that, yeah. that it's filling lane. So yeah. Um, I just don't remember the number. Uh, uh, when we get together sometime. Yeah. And, and get him. Yeah. Okay. In here with us. All right, Ann. Go ahead, Jonathan. Right. Well, for you all that don't know me, uh, Jonathan Turner is my name, Chairman of the uh, Trimble County Conservation District. Our main office, it's right over here, this little corner building, little red building across the street. We meet uh, uh, once a month, second Thursday at 7 p.m. over here at this building. Uh, Todd was glad to have you. We had a meeting last week and he came over. Matter of fact, I think it's the first time any official has ever came to one of our meetings. So, uh, Chris, I'm sorry I should have texted you. No, that's all right. I'm, I'm, we were talking about it, so. But everybody's invited. It's all open to the public, too, the meetings. Uh, like I say, 7 p.m., second Thursday every month. Uh, and you've got trees coming. Yeah, you? we'll have trees coming in uh, in April. Yeah. So, um, that's always a program we've done forever. Um, to where we get, we get trees and distribute them to the fourth graders here at, at all the schools. So that's one of the things we do. Yeah. We and right now we, we were uh, fortunate here over the past couple of years we put in for uh, for state grants and, and got some. And uh, right now we still have money available, like uh, eleven thousand and some change uh, for local cost share that we're doing. Where we uh, we had done it, it's like the second year now. Uh, we you know we've done the sinkholes and. Uh, We've opened it up to where uh, now we've listed more things, uh, so far as like putting in cattle waters, heavy use areas, things like that. Yeah. So, and then also, at any point in time, uh, you can sign up over here at the office, uh, where our office hours are every Thursday uh, from 8.30 to 4.30. Brooke, Brooke uh, Herman is our uh, admin secretary and she's always there. Um, so anybody, any farmer or landowner can come in at any point in time and uh, sign up for EQIP or local cost share or uh, uh, state cost share. You know, it's all, it's kind of a year-round sign up. So they, they'll have deadlines throughout the year for each different thing, and they'll kind of take them on order of, you know, how you signed up. So, but that's how that works. You know, you can't, you, you can't receive or get something if you don't sign up for it. So I encourage farmers and landowners to do that. Yeah, you know, and then uh, something we had talked about too. Of course, we get our money um, from physical court, and we get it from the state through the Division of Conservation. That's that's pretty much what we run on. We're not on millage tax or nothing like that. So uh, uh, it's a real small. You know, we got a real small budget that we run on, and uh, we've got uh, some repairs we need to do to our building over here. We've got this front awning. It's getting into a, a pretty much a safety issue. If you guys get time, happen to be be up here in town, you can see that awning in front. Uh, and anyways, uh, we had Todd, I, I mentioned to him about maybe, uh, you know, getting the county workers to come up, you know, like a weekend or something and see about what we could do to maybe possibly <laughs> remove that so it's not a safety issue anymore. So. And, and what, what, he had, what we had talked about at that meeting, guys, that they got a bid, it was like 32, thousand something yeah. yeah just this crazy bid and yeah. uh so we with approval of the court maybe we could get mike and you get involved here too uh get all hands on deck to take that awning off and you just know, something we could look at and discuss right and you talking about the building over here mm -hmm. henry right. tingle's old house yeah. you know wouldn't that be up to the landowner to, to remove that? We are the landowner. Oh, y'all own it? Yeah, <laughs> everybody does. See, okay. we, we don't rent that building any, any longer. We we bought that from Eunice probably go four, a good four years, mm -hmm. okay. possibly five time gets away from you. Yeah. So when it works out that we were able to purchase it, we got a grant to purchase it through the state, and we actually, the payments are cheaper than what we were renting it for. Mm -hmm. So the county owns the building pretty right. much. Right. So it's kind of, 
you know, county property. Yeah, yeah. Even though we're, you know, there's seven supervisors that run the conservation district district that are elected, just like you guys. Mm -hmm. I mean, even though it's, you know, we're dealing with taxpayer money. Mm -hmm. So the cheapest way to go about removing that, and the safest, is what we're looking for. So yeah. there we are. Yeah. So, right on. Yeah. And I think so we're we'll, we'll plan that one in warm weather. In a dumpster, yeah. Mm -hmm. there yeah. Is, there, is it an immediate safety there. issue? You look at it and see okay, what you right. think. Okay. Well, I mean, it's been it's been way. braced a few years ago to where you know, but it's getting to that point. You never know. Okay. I mean, right. it'd be terrible for a kid. You know, yeah. a rainstorm come up and kids run under it to keep from getting wet, and then the good wind blows up. Boom! It's on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not good. Is it in the front of the building or? Yeah, it's yeah, that's right in front of the building. Okay. Okay. I remember it's right in the front. Line. Yeah, matter of fact, the sidewalk goes from the building out probably what eight feet to the grass probably. and that awning almost covers the entire sidewalk so if you're walking the sidewalk you've got to walk under <coughs> and you're thinking about just taking it down or replacing well it? you know the cheapest route to do it you know definitely getting it down seeing what we have and then you know whether we want to put another porch back or just side it up you know just you know we've got some money available as of right now that we can do some repairs and stuff so this is the time to do it you know so Fantastic. But good, you guys, good. you guys come through town, just stop in there and take a look or call me. I okay. every one of you got to know. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. We can take a look at it and I can show you. All yeah. right. Just since it's been brought to our attention on a safety factor, I think we need to get it tore down immediately. Then we can go back and, and decide how we want to replace it. Yeah. There you go. I, I do too. I mean, if it's a safety mm -hmm. issue. Bruce, how quick could we get a dumpster? I can call and see if I can get one whenever you're all wanting to tear it off. All right. I mean, I, we, I don't want to tear it off and you see the inside right. room. Right. right. I mean, How soon are you guys looking to act? I mean, well, well just, just depending on the weather, but yeah. Right. Um, could we haul that out there? In a, could we haul that out there in a dump truck? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. How much material is it? Mm -hmm. Probably, Probably, yeah. I, would I would say about two. I'd say two dump truck loads if yeah. it was placed in there. Right. Yeah, would, you need yeah, a yeah, form of motion. I think so. Yeah, I make a motion. Well, I make a motion that we tear the awning off the uh, building immediately. I second it. Awesome. Sweet. Thank you. All right. Any discussion at all, guys? Is it, what, what is the material? Is it metal or is it it's uh, wood. shingle? It's wood. It's wood. wood. It's it's shingle. Like that, what is it? Like an old shake wood shingle? I think it is. It's it's wood shakers. Yeah. 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 You'll see. Mm -hmm. It's it's not little. Okay. So definitely mm -hmm. have asbestos in it or anything like that. Oh, surely. <laughs> yeah, we're right. yeah. All wood. Shouldn't be. It just should be just wood. Yeah. All right. We have a motion and a second to go ahead and get this uh, scheduled. Any more discussion? All right. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. How's that, John? That sounds great. Speeds well, it up, don't it? Yeah, yeah, thank you, Kirby. Kirby. Uh, yeah. I think what we ought to do. Maybe tomorrow just put a barricade up there where somebody wouldn't walk under it. And that way they, they're warning that that's there. We can do it. Can you have a safety tape? Uh, do you yeah, have, a, think so. have, have another entrance to it? Yeah, we do. We actually do have a side entrance that we could use you know, on Thursdays. Of course, Matt and of course, Matt, you know, we rent out a room in there for Matt Gossip. Mm -hmm. He's got his taxes in there too, so he's going to have customers coming in now. Right. Yeah, so the sooner the better. Yeah. All right, so good. Weather permitting, so right. we'll see how it goes. Weather permitting. So I'll coordinate with you guys. Okay, right. yeah. Sounds good. Fantastic. Thanks. All right. That's really about all we got. We'll have more stuff, but that's all right. All right. Keep well, moving. Very good. Thanks, right. Thank Thanks. you, John. <coughs> all right, we'll move into the jailer's report with our jailer, Bobby Temple. I know I saw him in here. <coughs> I think everybody knows me. Uh, Come on up. <laughs> I, I'm camera shy. I just see oh, don't be right here. But don't be, that's all right. Don't be you camera don't have shy. A shy bone in your body. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, anything you would like to know about how it operates and what's going on? How many transports did you do this uh, last month? Last month, I don't know how many exactly. Let's put it this way. I had, uh, I claimed, I think we got a little over eight hundred dollars back on our money from the state. If you break that down at 39 cents a mile, I think it comes up a little better, 2,000 miles. And if you break that down, I think what is about 67 miles a day. That's just circuit court cases. That's just felonies. That's not our fa uh, family court. That's not to do with a district court. 
or anything else that I have to when I just go get people have to go get a jail will call me and say I have somebody I've got to go get them and bring them back. Some are felonies, some are not. For felons, we get paid for it. If not, I don't get paid for it. It's just on us. We eat it. And like I'm leaving in the morning, <coughs> for anybody who wants to go along, four o'clock to do some jail transports back for Thursday morning because we have circuit court Thursday morning. Where, where are you leaving to go to? In the morning, I'm going to start out. I'll head to Cincinnati. Well, oh. northern Kentucky. Okay. Kent and Campbell start with Bullitt and uh, Hardin County. Hopefully, they cancel the guy in Louisville. It's on a thing. And if not, then we'll have them all back. And then, then Thursday, I've got to do Carroll and Oldham County. I think we have 18 at the moment coming to court. And I have five employees. One can only work nights because he works for hospital one can only work days because he's retired one is free and then of course one and so are we using both carol and oldham right now or mainly carol reluctantly, reluctantly yes we are <coughs> not by my choice but we are using both at the moment okay uh, also we saved quite a chunk of money last month we had three people that had to go to the hospital after being arrested and uh, one of them actually spent if I'm not mistaken, four days at Louisville in uh, intensive care. One had x-rays because he thought he had broken ribs. Another one was arrested with an internal morphine pump. Well, for those of you who don't know, when he gets arrested, no jail will take him. It wasn't brought to our attention, to my deputy's attention, until after he transferred custody. And I got to take care of him. And the total thing so far is just <coughs> us $3,000 for all that. Well, we tell the people that all the juveniles go to Northern Kentucky. Yes, but I don't any longer transport. Charlie does that. That's another job that Charlie does. But still, does they all juveniles. go to Northern Kentucky. Yes, they all go to Northern Kentucky. <coughs> they go to, the Cam go to Campbell County. And also, when they go into arrest here in Trimble County, we're reliable for them when they go. So mm -hmm. if they break a leg, arm, neck. Anything once they're in custody, they're ours. I mean, that's my left feet, it's a know. pretty good past some of the things that I am able to get done, not to brag too much, but I have some help from some very good people who helped me get this done. It's built up over the years. I like to say this is my 17th year. That's why I'm here asking for a raise as well. 17, I haven't had, I was here as you know in November and it didn't go well. You should have stood up here. <laughs> might have went a little better for you. <laughs> might have done it, might have done it, Todd. Done it. <laughs> but Just anyway, say, that's, don't give up. you know, I wanted to go with that again as far as all right, good deal. Anything? Any questions for him, guys? What was you? What was you asking? You what for a raise again? Like you did in November? Yes, sir. Same what, thing. What are you? Is it on? Give us what you're making now. Twenty-eight. Todd, if I'm not mistaken, twenty-eight six or twenty-eight eight. I I don't remember. I don't either. Yeah. It's somewhere around there. I want to go to 20, a thirty-four. That's what I'm trying to get to. Right. I'm trying to get up the rest of the state. Right. <clears throat> and be able to put a little bit back for retirement. Hopefully, right. in a couple of years. Well, you know, I think Bobby's. I work with somebody in Car that works at the jail in Carrollton, and Bobby's well respected over there. And I think that says a lot for Trimble County. He's been elected five times, Bob. Yes, sir. And you know, he's. I, you hear good things about Bobby Temple. He's Up done. until this last election, I was top vote getter. Well, Somebody beat me. Okay, well. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> well, I make a motion that we up Bobby's raise to what he's asking for, to thirty-four thousand, based on his experience and his rep re representation in Dart County. He does a good job, and I think it's well deserved. You know, Bobby, he, he brings to the table too is he can get a hold of these folks and get them out of our custody mm -hmm. and don't charge it and don't cost <coughs> the county them on a lot of expense. So. The last guy, like I say, I was in, and it, it just the work, works out, it all worked out. The guy at the morphine pump was all as bad as it could be. He was given to my deputy without, my, or without knowing. I was in training and he had to go to Jefferson County. <coughs> Jefferson County insisted that we take him to the hospital and get him okayed by the hospital. And he's not ours, and I wasn't about to pay for their problem. Right. Any other county, I could have worked out a little bit and it would have been simple, but 
I missed about three hours of training on this to get, <laughs> finally get it done, but I made it back up and all. I'm not sure what the money is. Is it, is it 34? I want to get to 34 and I have 28, so is it 42, isn't it? I don't know. I think it's 28 eight is where I'm at. Okay. So the I'm motion is to go to 34? 34. And it's, what other counties? Second. You said other counties pay that? Which other pay ones? Pay the 34. Yeah, I'm the lowest paid jailer from my experience in the county. I mean, in the state. Uh, and, and, quite, and even 34 doesn't get me, uh, like Gallatin County makes 35. <coughs> Pendleton County makes 40 something. I don't know what it is. They're close jailers, too. Uh, Gallatin County's got a little more income, but they're a smaller, actually, community, a county than we are. Uh, Pendleton County is not as big, if I'm not mistaken. Henry County's bigger, but he makes uh, 50, maybe almost 60,000, I think it is, closed jail. Owen County is the only one that makes, and she's got, I think she's got six years in, if I'm not mistaken, and she makes exactly what I make. One more question for our second motion. Okay, go ahead. Is there any way that we can use our prisoners in our county? I wish we could. Why can't it's not set up? We need, we need a jail. But they can bring them from Carroll County they over can, here. They can, can our guys yeah, supervise will, them? If they will. But they really, it's a complicated area, gentlemen. I mean, it's, not everybody goes in and gets work release. And most of the ones who work get work release. They have to pay money to the jail to be able to be released. And there's not as many as you think that will do that. I mean, there's just like Carroll County. I think they have like 12 guys on a regular basis. Everybody else works in the jail, and they mold the cemeteries and do a few things. It's not. I mean, I look into it, see if it's changed in with the new jailer. No problem at all. Just a phone call away. I wish you would on that. No, I, I don't mind at all. Mm -hmm. It's a big deal. I second the motion. All right, we have a motion on the floor to increase the jailer's salary to 34000 Any more discussion? So the motion is mute, moot, is it not? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, we will move into uh, public comment. Anybody who would like to speak, now is your time to speak and take your turn. Come on up here. My question is, you know, State your name, Rick. So Rick they know. Yes, thank you. Um, my question is, how can you say that, you know, Matt was working as a, as Florida County on the 8th when the thing he was testifying against was in June? You know, if I'm on a job, I want to complete my job whether I'm still on the clock or not. Okay, that's just me. It's up to the court when they, when they do Thank it. Thank you, Rick. Yeah. All right. Would you would come you on like, up? Okay. Wait a minute. They got. I see a hand back here in the back. <coughs> I can't see you, but come on up here, Autumn. Uh, what I wanted to say is I've escorted the law before with the Patriot Guard oh. several times, multiple times at Fort Knox. Uh, at a Vietnam War um, memorial and where they got a lot of the Vietnam vets back to to come to it and they brought in some of the guys that were actively enlisted it was a wonderful thing but it's very solemn and it's very emotional so we want to make sure that when we put it out here we put it someplace where people can have that peace mm -hmm. and that experience when they go and they actually can run their fingers across the names on it so I just wanted to bring up that point when you were talking about it you're talking about the Apple Festival Make sure you set it back somewhere because it's a very emotional experience to see that wall. Yeah, so, we, that's all I want to say. Right. Well, we would definitely have to find a, a place. You know, the Apple Festival is pretty busy. Come on up. I don't know where we're going to find it. Maybe we put it yeah. out in front of the fire. Oh, I'll just stand right here. Yeah. I'm Gary okay. Taylor. As long as you're under the camera. Yeah, it yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll come over here. I don't want you to get me, you know, me like Bobby. Uh, this has nothing to do with zoning or anything like that. I've been trying to get our subdivision re-blacktop for years. It has not been blacktop since Ray Clem has been in office. I've been talking to all the masters. I haven't talked to Jay. I mentioned JD when he was on on uh, campaigning. 
But they done the chip and seal. They done all that. It's all tore up. Uh, school buses go back there quite a bit. I was just wondering if you all can put it in your budget sometime this year, look at it, go out there and take a drive around it. There's a lot of lanes that's been damaged over the years. And what are those streets called, Gary? North there is Northgate, there's North, North Ridge or Center Court. Center Court is really tore up. Uh, um, Mike Isley lives on one of them lanes. <coughs> And, um, but it, it, it needs to be repaired. Uh, if you all can put in your budget sometime this year or just take a look at it. But like I said, it's been chip and seal. That was, that was one of the excuses one of the judges said, well, we're gonna do this chip and seal. Well, they done it. And then we'll blacktop it when nothing's been done. You, usually what happens, Gary, <coughs> yeah, and I think Kenny can figure out. We get so much money in for blacktopping. Okay. I understand, okay. I understand. All right, Dan. Each master, we split it up to each master to go out <coughs> where he feels or wherever that. So I don't know how much money will be coming in this year. Okay. That'll be to your master yeah. on, on, on that. And I will have them coming too on me. But I don't at this time have any idea how much money will be right. out there for it. And, and that's. Close, close, I get you on the I, I, I know the money is yeah. a, a big yeah. issue, yeah. but I've been asking for it, and there's other people who've been asking yeah. for it for years. So we, we've still got our current budget to the yeah. end of June, yeah. so yeah. That, that money's appropriated in there already. So, uh, the thing that you might want to talk to your neighbors about is if our road department does it and they can only do so much, would you want them just to patch the bad spots or start here? It's and been patched and pave a section. As far if, as they could go, if you the go money runs out, if you go with a next section, year, come yes, back and do yes. another section. That would probably be better than and the I, I don't, seal. I, I, no, go it's ahead. in your area, but uh, to me, it looks a whole lot better if you do it that way oh, rather than sweet. a patch here, patch oh, there. Yeah, and, and, yeah. And take and one that. road at a time and, and do it that way. That would be great if you often work that in your religion. But it needs to be addressed sometime. I got with Mike Sturt. He's allowing me to go with Randy Reagan. I don't know if you know him, he, but he is from our district. He's going to go around to with me and show me which roads are in more need. And I'm not saying yours is top or bottom, mm -hmm. but he's gonna, I'm gonna use his expertise in telling me which ones I need to do. Okay. So uh, Randy's gonna be my guy, my contact. Uh, he said he was willing to ride around with me and, and we're gonna start that pretty soon. Yeah, that'd be Prioritize. great, I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. huh? Prioritize. Well, he knows. You know, they were yeah. talking about Thanks great and roads. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know you know. You All right, come on up. First now. He's going to help me. Yeah, you're right. Okay, my name is Trisha Zink, and I'm talking about animal control. I know the young man you appointed for animal control. He's worked for us before with hay. I know he has little horse experience, unless he's gotten some since June. Say uh, horse? Horse. Okay. Okay. I'm all about horses. I have made horses my life study. I'm offering my help to him, not as an employee. I do not want his job. I do not want the assistant's job. I just want the horses in this county to be taken care of. And I kind of don't think Mr. Callis has much knowledge in not that, horses. okay? So I have cards with my name and phone number on them. If he has a problem, if you guys have a problem, have him call me. Okay? Yes. I've, I've studied horses since I was nine years old. I know, I know you said, wow, that means you think I'm really old. <laughs> so I know all the ins and outs, you know, if they're being taken care of, if they're not, I'm not a bleeding heart. I just want them to be taken care of. I know people that can help. I don't want another case that we had two years ago. There's hay out there for horses, there's transportation. Kentucky Humane Society will step in, state veterinarian will step in. I'm offering my assistance, okay? Awesome. If any Thanks. of you guys see a horse in need, if you think you see a horse in need, if you're just not sure, there's a big difference between a horse being starved and a horse that's old. There's a lot of differences, and I know the differences. Yeah. So, okay? The one you right. called me on a week ago We've driven past in a different several district, times. is it not as dire? We don't see them anymore. Okay. We've, we've driven past several times and they're not in that field and anymore. I think it's, it might be in Chris's district. It's uh, down towards Milton. Down towards Milton, so it could be yeah. 
S cross country tire was right on board. Right on the right on yeah. Okay. I'll be the first to say thank That's, you for your help. Yeah. Well, you're welcome. I mean, you know, and I mean, it goes for dogs, cats, anything else too. But horses <coughs> are a big, a big, pro you know, a big problem. You can't take them to the shelter necessarily. Right. Right. Uh, where to put them. You know, <laughs> and people can drive by and think, oh, that horse is a little bit thin, but not really know. And I, you know, I can, I know the difference, and I can raise some attention to it. So. Guys, take my card. Seriously, well, call me. Okay. okay. Give it to him tomorrow. Tell him. I wish he was still yeah, here. I do too. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> but yeah, you know, my other question is: Is there any rules for Trimble County as far as animal control? There is. We have we have an ordinance on it, and I'll, I'll get you a copy. Okay, of that that'd be great. We're done here because I know Jefferson County has one that dogs can't be tied out outside for right. more than eight hours, things like that. I would love to see that. That's not yes. a that's not a discussion for tonight, but. Yep, I can get you a copy yep. of that ordinance. That'd be great. Yeah. That's it. Thank, Thank you. you very much. All right, anybody else have something? Come on up, Jerry. Uh, Thanks just, for being patient with us. Just a couple of comments. Uh, this one is on the uh, request for the wall. Has anybody been to see that? Yes. The, the traveling or the one that you uh, watch? It's a traveling see. wall, I guess. It's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, and it's, it's a monster. And I was over at Carrollton the first time they had it. Yeah, I've seen it over there. And uh, it was a pretty mess. You couldn't walk out there without sinking in the mud and so forth over at Carrollton. The uh, only place I'd say you could put it would be, have to be on the pavement. The pavement. Well, how about, you know, I was thinking after the last one, I just brought up the second one. But it, it, it yeah. that's, that's Chris said something about maybe over maybe around the firehouse or, or that area over in there. Well, it's going to take a lot more than just the firehouse. Well, we might firehouse. be able to actually shut that street down. And we do, uh, the city does you know, anyway. We, we shut it down on this side, but the, they already do. Okay. section over yeah. there, so. That's for Mike. Yeah, they yeah, shut that bank, street yeah. down. Church yeah. Street from right. West Street to Victory is shut down. We'll put her in there. Yeah, pavement's a good idea. Yeah. Thank the, you, Gary. The only other uh, thing really is nice on the planning and zoning. Uh, everything I've heard you all talk about, money, 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 is going to come from us owners and landlords. And everything that's done in this county. How many times has anybody, a group from the of citizens and magistrates gone to Frankfurt, got with the government agencies involved in bringing the industry in of any kind of it that hadn't been won. You've got to have planning zoning where you can bring no, it in. No, you don't. No, you don't. You don't have Carolton to have it. Carrollton doesn't have it. Carrollton doesn't have Carolton's it. got a heck of a tax base up there on Well, that. but you said planning and zoning. They're right. It does not have planning and zoning. Anyway. So, uh, <coughs> and, I was there with the meeting that we had out to the extension office, and I wished I just had everybody write down whether they wanted for it or against it, but most, I know that most everybody was against it. Uh, you're, a, you're a man of agriculture, aren't you? Right. Got 250 acres. And you'd like to protect it. Well, it is protected. Yeah, yours is, but maybe somebody next to you, say you sell it. Say you're... Say you're kids your grandkids sell it and a, and, and a rock quarry comes in right beside 15 neighbors that border your property well look, oh okay look, they, look what lg and a's done to it, yeah. exactly right. huh? exactly you can't tell you can't. me that if lg came in here today or anybody big like that that you always say oh you can't because it's only because you always do me. everything you could to get somebody that's got that big of a tax base and that well, big they'd have to have regulations in okay. here to do it rather it steps there on me go. or anybody else kelly it breaks my heart go back that road my grandpa was born back that road i went back with well, him when i was 15 years old nobody's done nothing to about well I'm, yeah. it previously maybe all right so jerry what else you got? Uh, well, that's the basic, and I think that all the farmers that I know, they don't want the zoning. Okay. So, you know. All right. I got this new phone. I can't shut it off. <laughs> yeah. All right. Turn Kenny. it off. It'll turn right back on. Either one of you, Kenny. And I apologize. I don't. Uh, I don't mean a thing about it. I know. I, and and yeah, this isn't saying. I'm not saying I'm for it, zoning or right. I'm against zoning. But I can tell you today, if you all had every zoning ordinance known to man in this county, and a multi-billion dollar company coming here, you're going to step on me. You're going to step on her. You're going to step on anybody else to get it in here. Amen. 
So don't that's tell me that, that that's going to protect me because it didn't and it won't in this case. Well, I have begged this though. court for, for a year and a half. And Gary, no offense, I hope you can, if he's still here, I hope he can get a bike top row. But I'm going to tell you what, I drive through a cow path. I went to the cemetery the other day. It's pathetic. And this court has set up here for the last year since May and done, even spoke to me about it. Not even one word. We, we did get involved and, and got it patched and the patches fell through. Patched with I know. gravel. No, they patched it with asphalt the first go around and then it failed. And and I'll and I'll get Todd to ride back there with me and, and when spring comes around we'll get on the pavement. When spring comes around, I heard that a year ago. Well they can't when the ground is saturated you can't pave it and expect it to hold up. I know you It was April and May when that was done last year. Yeah, and it <coughs> fell apart. From the and why did it fall apart? Road all the way to the end of Bogger Ridge, it's like a roller coaster ride. Yeah, I, yeah, it is. I know. Let me it's ask you. Trucks pulling their loads in. Why has it fell apart? <laughs> Would it have fell apart with just a regular residence no. running up down the road? You know that. No, I know now that let me not. ask you another question. I have my my family has 150 acres down there. If I was doing some kind of industrial building back there and I tore that road up, would I have an unlimited amount of time to repair that road? Regardless of what it done to the citizens of this county, would I? Probably not. No. Probably not. Yeah. I would be. I would have to pay every penny, and I would have done had had it fixed a year ago. And you know it. Everybody else knows it. We'll, we'll, we'll move forward on it. I, I mean, I heard that. I I've I heard that a year ago, Kenny. And there was. And I haven't heard a word there. from you all since May. Well, you quit speaking to me for one thing. Actually, <laughs> let me explain something to you. I was walking out that door at the end of the meeting, and you turned around and you said, I'll get in touch with you, and I never heard one phone call from you. That's not, not one. correct. That's that not is correct. correct. When did you call me after the May meeting? You you got my number. Oh, so it's up to me to call you. You call me every day. You when you said, all right. And, and I tell you, the, the downfall was, it was, was when you and Jerry got into it. Jerry throwed up his hands, and I can't do anything without the county judge support. I can tell you that. You got it now. You could have a majority vote. Could there's five of you here? Could four of you have voted to to done something about that? What would what, what what could we do there? Well, there's a couple of options. The first one that we discussed is we could do an injunction suit, and I would need well, Mike's gone, but I would need to know what type of weightage is acceptable for that type of road um, because we would request the judge um, do an injunction an injunctive order stating that they can't bring any heavy equipment over a certain weight and once we have that order in place then they wouldn't be able to bring heavy equipment down there now they are responsible for reimbursing the county and fixing that road and they will pay it and it's my understanding they have paid for the repairs thus far However, there is another thing where there's supposed to be a secondary road, which it was my understanding it was close to being done that they're supposed they're to be using, using it. It's, it's of, from the plant up okay. over that bridge on 1838 and up into their property. So are they finished using all no. the bridge? So they're still very much using it? Oh, very much using it. Okay. And their idea of patching a road is they, they pull up, plop it in with a shovel and drive off. Right. And it's gravel. And then our cars go over it to flatten it out. It's, our, it's gravel. Our county taxes paid for a blacktop road down there. I used to could drive 50 miles an hour down that road if I wanted to. It takes me over 10 minutes to get out of there because I am crawling to get through the mud holes, the piles of rock, or, or, or even vehicles. Is your neighbor still getting transportation? Like is that No, that was only because the road fell in. That was when they dug it yes. out to do the initial repair. That's right. Another option would be maybe schedule a meeting yeah. And we can sit down and talk to them and, and get a, a game plan, a solid I think that's game plan. The, I think that's the best action. Because it, it's not going to be wise to repair it and then continue using it without something happening where they're not bringing that heavy equipment on the road. Right. So They did make the offer for our county to go down there and do repairs and they would reimburse us and, and Jerry would not do that. He said, I'm afraid we'd get in a situation where we'd have money tied up and not be able to get it back out. So that was one of the offers they made rather than... Who was that, Ken, uh, Kenny? You talked to him. Uh, uh, Joan Lip. Okay. And I've got I got that name. Number. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah. There's been a lot of promises made that hadn't been kept. 
Right. That's all I got to tell you. Right. And just just so you know, up when we try to get them to meet, uh, they wouldn't come up. Yeah, they us. wouldn't meet right. with you all. Once they found out we were coming, when we were invited, they wouldn't meet with you all. Well, it's a previous. Okay. So they won't come to an open the court meeting. No. Okay. Well, maybe, yeah. <coughs> anyway, Crystal and I will meet. <coughs> All right. Now, Kenny. Yeah, I just got two issues. Uh, Kenny, Kenny Morse. On Pyle, the waste manager. He had 15 years to show itself on his job. To me, it sounded like he only did it one time. It's time to move on. Get somebody in here. I don't care if you got one year. He can go, just like Mr. Pyle. Secondly, on uh, planning and zoning, I'm totally against it. If you all would enforce the laws that we've already got and talk to the judges so when they do come up there, it won't be patted on the back or the good old boy system kicks in. Get them working first before you think about moving up to a planning and zoning. This just help a few. Pocket wise, good old boy wise, I don't know, but I'm, I'm against it. Enforce the rules we've got now. Show us that you are involved in that. Not just per personal gain. That's not the personal right. opinion. Thank you, Kenny. Mike Piles. I just got a couple of points. Uh, <laughs> clarification: uh, When you were talking about appointing the commissioners, uh, did you rehire Chelsea as our? I think that was in our in the motion. Just want yeah. to make that uh, mm -hmm. sure. Also, uh, the point about uh, an enforcement officer. You're going to need to get someone appointed because they, uh, Matt knew the planning and zoning ordinance inside out. <coughs> and that new person is going to have a, a big learning curve there. And they, they're going to be the enforcement officer for that. So also, uh, Crystal and JD, the points that you had about the zoning ordinance, if you'll give those to me so that we can address them at our, our next meeting, we'll, we'll look into those. We Is your next that. meeting open to the public? Yes. If I could have a copy of Dates and Times, I would okay, love I, to I gave you a copy of that. that okay. All right. Uh, what's your criteria for handling somebody that's over the ordinances? The enforcement officer? What's that? What's, your, what's his job title? Or what's, the, what's uh, well, expected it, out of him? Does it, he it, have it, to have it, any... It's, it's a volunteer position. It's a physical court. No, so. but I know that if you're over planning and zoning, you, you, you have some criteria you want him to be able to do. No. Do you want him to be a civil engineer? That would be the greatest. That's kind of expensive. Probably can't have that one. An architect would be next. Somebody in the building trades would be next. You know, a land developer. Not my decision. Well, I know, I know but I'm asking for your opinion. Yeah. I want someone that knows the ordinance. So all, the, all you care about <coughs> is the legal part. You don't care about the structural part. Well, the, the issue I have with what you brought up, uh, I, I'd like to know exactly, uh, I, I want to take a look at that because renovations inside a home shouldn't have anything to do well, with it. Well, I know, and that's why I was so surprised when I seen okay. that load-bearing yeah. wall listed in there. I need to look at, I need to look at that because we need to make sure that's completely only, wrong. Only if you're adding on to something or expanding, expanding so it shouldn't have anything to do with well, we need to make uh, sure with the inside renovations so that that's what well, I'd, I'd, I'd like to look at sometimes that. on the outside mainly on the outside mm -hmm. we can't say they want to add on and they say well I'm gonna tear this wall down and you say okay and then they tear down the length wall that wall right there is load bearing mm -hmm. if they tore that down mm -hmm. well that's gonna fall and we gave them a permit and they said yes mm -hmm. are we liable yeah because we told them, yes, you can tear that wall down. Mm -hmm. what, you know, like Peggy said, we're, we're looking out for the people of Trimble County, mm -hmm. and I don't want to get us in something that we can't get out of. Sure. Can I ask him a question? Yes. Do you intend to have all the forms and permits and everything uh, ready by the next meeting? Well, Crystal, we're volunteers. Sure, absolutely. And I gave the sample forms that Matt had been working on to Todd for the, for the new enforcement uh, <coughs> officer to work on. Okay. Because, like I said, we're, we're not costing the county a lot of money. Uh, we're volunteers. Do you have those finished, though? Because, you know, there were some of those that there was pieces of paper yeah, those, that were Those were stuff. samples, patchwork that, that I gave you, and yeah. that was as far as Matt got. His girl handwriting. So, well, actually, there was, there was I a think, lady's I think Vanessa had helped on some oh, of those because okay. she had worked in the county 
uh, oh, planning right. and zoning office at one time. Okay. So she was she was helping Matt with that. Okay. okay. So that's why I gave right. them to you for for the new yes. enforcement officer, the paid enforcement officer. Okay. Where's Scott lives down right. there? Rita, go ahead. I would like to just speak for Matt. Um, I know you can appoint anybody you want to, Todd, but don't tell me anybody in this county, there's only one person that you got in mind that you would like to have his job. Can't you come up with a few more? Maybe they would agree with that. I don't know. But I'm going to go for Matt. Matt worked for us when we were at the city, when he come down and worked on our computers. Anytime that we needed a dumpster, and I'm talking a long time. I don't know how long Matt's been there, 15, 16 years. Anytime we needed a dumpster for somebody here in the, the city, he got it for us. Um, Y'all said that he only had one case that went to trial. Well, I know for a fact he was over at that courthouse almost monthly taking people to court. You don't always have to take things to trial. He worked with these people and got things cleaned up. I'm for sure there's a lot of places that still need to be cleaned up. I'm not saying there's not. But there's reasons and there's laws that you have to go by in order to get these things cleaned up. You can't just go in there and, and take somebody who don't have a dime of money and take them to court and try to get them to clean it up. Matt would go, work with them, get a dumpster. I think Matt did a wonderful job. Anytime our computers and things went out here, I, heard, I didn't come to the last meeting, couldn't be here. Uh, Matt was our IT person. Somebody said, well, is it our website? I'm gonna tell you, when you come in here and you've got reports and things that you have to have done, and that computer's down, you're gonna call Matt, Matt's gonna be here. Because he did come here. He helped at the courthouse when they had problems at the courthouse. And these are old buildings. So all of this stuff goes down. And if you've got something that has to be done right then and there, you're going to better hope that you've got a Matt Gossam there. So I have also heard that he wears many hats. A lot of people that work for the county wear many hats. And you can't hold that against him just because it wasn't written on your legal paper saying that he was waste <coughs> management and he didn't have all these things. Everybody that works for the county that puts their heart in it works many hours. And Todd, I know for a fact you could come, if you don't want Matt, you could come up with other people. And maybe the, maybe the court would agree with that. But sitting here saying, I want this person, I'm not, I don't even know this guy. But I'm just saying, try to work with them. You've got to work with these guys. And I think getting rid of Matt Dawson is going to be a big mistake. And I hope you listen to me, Todd. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good getting back to that. Does Matt have a job? At this present, he does not. He's not been reappointed. What do, what do we do in the meantime? Uh, we have Bruce Powell has been doing the job since since the beginning of, or the end of November. So you're going to have Bruce write this paper up? He's been doing it. Yeah. But Matt, yeah. Worked, he worked for us on the 8th. Yeah. Well, he came and testified. All right. When I'm sorry, Todd. I got to say something. All right. Go ahead. I got a and gentleman behind you wants I to promise. speak to. <laughs> I also heard that you said Bruce had been doing the job since the first. Of, I got nothing against Bruce Files. Bruce Files is a person. Wonderful. Um, you said that Bruce had been doing the job since the first of December. Well, I was here in December, and I know for to twice a week, Tom, Matt was on vacation. Two times a week, Matt would come in this office and go through his box and get his stuff. Anything needed to be done, letters wrote or whatever, Matt brought them back to us and we mailed those. If he had checks and deposits from those hauler people, we done those and put those in the bank. So Matt, Matt was here and he was working on his vacation. Okay. And not Bruce did it all. I, don't, I know Matt was here two I'm times a week. Just going by what I've been uh, informed. But thank you for informing me. Hold on, Tina. Okay. Uh, I'll wait my turn. Frank, come on up, Frank. Mm -hmm. I'll just kind of be pretty short and sweet. It, it uh, pertains to the <coughs> veterans, the mobile veterans wall that uh, some discussion was made up about getting it here. Mm -hmm. And I will agree that it'd be a wonderful thing for the town. But being a veteran myself, what, what uh, it pertains to, I don't see it being put inside the town or in the town streets while the Apple Festival is going on. 
there's going to be too much noise, there's going to be bands, there's going to be music. We'll bring in people, don't get me wrong, we'll bring in people. But it's a very solemn thing. So it's, could we have it like up in front of the middle school or somewhere away? And, I just thought the Apple Festival is and, it being and, held and for all be the town. It, it needs to be a quiet spot. It really, really we does could talk to the school cemetery. system and get it up there. Or yeah, down to our better and simply yeah, does. Yeah, that would probably be a better location. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. It, it has to be pretty yeah, solid ground because this, this this is a huge yeah. display. It's very solemn. It's very okay. solemd. Yes, sir. Yes, Tina, what was that, twelve feet? Yeah. I think if I read it right, it's eighteen feet. And 12 feet. Okay. That's the it's, it's the. That's huge. It's the Vietnam. Yeah. Yes. It just covers the Vietnam, from my cemetery. understanding. Yeah. What about the library, too? And that, yes. I mean, yes. Okay. The library, even an open place like the, uh, we got a, the, the old school lot up yeah. here that's, uh, mm -hmm. it's a pretty big school lot. Now, mm -hmm. that would handle it. There'd be a lot of road traffic there, but I believe the veterans could handle that. And this will bring in a lot of people besides veterans. Yeah. Okay. It's, uh, but, for the respect of them, it needs to be a little quieter spot than in a festival. Okay. Right. I think what we've concentrated idea, on right. is the uh, weather conditions, you know, if it's raining or something. Yes, sir. I understand that. And no matter when it comes, it'll yeah. draw the crowd. Yeah, we're hoping. I don't okay. care if it's the middle of the week, it'll draw the crowd. Okay. And well, he thanks. said it could be, be inside or out. I've, I've not got to see it yet. I've seen pictures. If it goes inside, it'd have to be a huge uh, interest to pull semi trucks into it. Mm. Oh, then there you go. There's the school. Yeah. Middle school All right. Yeah. yeah. Middle school. Yeah. All right. Tina, go ahead. I just wanted to add what to what Rita said about Matt. Yeah. Um, I will say that he came in on vacation to fix my Wi-Fi. Uh, my Wi-Fi went down. I am not a technical person. I know nothing about it. Um, I'm piggybacked off of the sheriff's uh, Wi-Fi connection and. Um, it's through the ceiling and Bruce worked on it to all he could do and then I was in contact with Matt he was emailing back and forth to me um, and then he finally came in and fixed it so I I wanted to add to what Rita said even though he was on vacation he was still at my beck and call at any of our beck and calls so I just wanted to put that out there too all right thank you Tina all right John yeah, come on back up. <laughs> no. All right, a couple things I got. Um, one of them can be at the Farm Bureau meeting, meet the candidates that we hosted, you know, at the extension office. There was a big thing talked about the occupancy tax, all right? So, occupation tax? Or occupation, yeah. occupational tax, yeah. <coughs> so that's something there that, you know, that needs to be in place. We need to generate some money for this county. First place to go right there. Now, is it going to be, you know, uh, sensitive? For sure. And, you know, you got people working at LG&E, then you got people working at Poppies, the gas station. I'm sure there's a formula out there, how it can work. I would like to see you guys look into it. I think the maximum is 1% that you can charge on that. I have contacted, it has to be over <coughs> I have contacted we don't have the Carroll County judge, and I'm going to meet with him. Anybody's welcome to go with me and sit down and talk to him about the occupation tax. Yeah. But I have got to get back with him. He was out of town. Yeah. I think Lagrange charges that too, one percent. But because they did, they just it's, it's, it's based on your population. I would like yeah. to bring it over three hundred thousand every county charge to this one. I would like to bring it back to court or something like that. Explain it. Yeah, everybody have a yeah. chance to. Gotcha. I just wanted to put that in your ear. But, but I, and, I, and I think the majority of people who live in Trimble County are paying that tax somewhere sure else. Sure they are. That's, well, that's sure. an issue. So yeah. why not the people living in Louisville right. that are driving up here and working? Yeah, I won't need, disagree with you. They need to pay here too. So would you want to exempt the farmers then? Well, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so Carroll County says after the first 5000 then it starts to 1%. Okay. So if you do that after the first 5000 you take out the kids working at the Dairy Queen there and Poppies and stuff right. like that. So, so what about, the, okay, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. I have talked to a couple of the small businesses. I have not finished. I think we need to do an impact study on those. Because yeah. if we do that and then we run out Little Town and Country and Bedford Hardware and mm -hmm. Dairy Queen, we've shot ourselves in the foot. We, we've lost some things. Exactly. So we need to go talk so to those that. small business. small businesses first. And then, if you know, it's great that he's going to Carroll County, and then talk to our businesses. 
and see what it would do to them. And we asked them, how many, how many employees do you have that make over 5,000? And then what would 1% do? And we need to have a graph showing them what 1% on 20,000 would be. It is a small amount. Yeah. But you know, when you figure out our three big ones, which is the LGNE, the school, and the government workers, you're looking at about $300,000 yeah. bringing into the county. Yeah, nothing like. But, the, but it's not worth running small businesses out. Exactly. So we got to do. We well, got to. We got to pay attention to it. Yeah, that's what I was, yeah. Yeah. I was going to say. Some sense. sort of study. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We can. We can do that ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Before we jump in and commit to another tax. Yeah. We, yeah. We need to. We need to ask and see our impact first. Yeah. Just it's died down <coughs> since that meeting. Right. Nobody has mentioned it here tonight. Just thought of it. Thought I'd bring it up. Right. Just right. see if you guys were into it. I already talked to and Todd. We've talked about yeah. it. And I, I told him I'm going to small businesses. I didn't want them to call him and say. Why is he asking? Are we getting a tax? Yeah. No, he's just asking to see where we're at. I don't yeah. want to run businesses out. Okay. Sounds great. That lets, that lets all the people know. Right. You guys are thinking about yeah. it. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, can, it can we put it up for a vote? No. Okay. <coughs> it's considered a referendum unless there's statutory authority or constitutional, and I don't think that there is for occupational tax. I think that it's something kind of like the um, insurance premium tax that right. would just be approved by the court. But I'll confirm that. Okay. Okay. Then the next thing, okay. So Mike's still here, that the committee. Um, who are the people that are on it again? Dave Shell Mitchell, Tom Taylor, Excuse me. Uh, Bob Yeller, yeah. and uh, Charles Lancaster. Okay. I guess you reappointed Charles. Charlie McCoy. McCoy. Okay. What's the guy gotta do to get on it? Because I had mentioned when Jerry was forming that and getting all that straightened out, <laughs> that I wanted to be on it from an agricultural standpoint for the farmers. How many farmers are on it right now? Well, zero. No, just one of these. I believe you're going to have more. So I would be interested in getting on it. Okay. You know, just some of the things, Chris, you know, I mean, <coughs> farms. Yeah. Yeah. To kind of back the farmer and the agricultural side of it. Who promotes or who? Can a commission have as many members as? It's they can. good to have an odd number, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It should be an odd number. So you need five or seven, and you right now have five, right? All right, so we need to look for one more. Well, if he's saying one, that means one. Yeah, open for right. adding people. Six. Six. Got five. Five. Yeah, we have five. Just, um, a female perspective. Go ahead. Come stand up where we can see you and hear you. That's all I have to say. Oh. If you're if you're making other appointments. True. Look for a, a female. Oh, female. Minority. Right, right here. Did he say Jonathan. Right back here. How long is the term? Uh, I think they're staggered uh, on those terms. I would like to see each one of us put one person in and then one for them. Yeah. The each city. district. It was, it was originally set up for each district and then the city Cities of Bedford and the city of And that would be your seven. Mm -hmm. I agree. Six. Yeah. Six. Yeah. All right, so let's let's get on that. Uh, maybe we have another. We can bring sure it up I'm, next time. I'm not sure what I'm getting myself into. But, uh, yeah. All right. Yeah. No, that's all right. I've got your phone number, so you're getting into a lot. I'm sorry. But I can't hear. Diane Arnold. Diane Arnold. Diane Arnold. All right. Yeah. Go ahead, Diane. I don't see it, but he's, he's she wants to be on the Oh. Oh. She, all right. She's not on there. Okay. All right. Well, Mike, where's where's these people live? I was trying to ask a guy that I thought he said he lived in Odom, Odom County. Where does everybody live? I live on Hackney Lane in Bedford. Yeah, where you live? I live in Milton. All right, there's one. Where's Charlie Mc... Road. Perfect. Charlie McCoy's Milton, isn't he? Charlie McCoy's yeah, Milton. Wise's Landing, yeah. Kenny's District. Where does uh, the gentleman side, side you set? Where's Jim he Mitchell live? lives out on it's like a Tandy Farm. Uh, Bob Yoder lives. Yeah. District, uh, District 4. 4, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it looks like we're spread out pretty good. Yeah, yeah. two for my district. Yeah, Tom, Tom is he's okay. not in Providence. Tom, 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 Taylor. Taylor. Tom Taylor's in Providence. Are so would we want to go ahead and appoint uh, Jonathan and Diana right now? I'm, I'm I mean, they're, they're going to meet next week, right? Yeah. Well, it's open to the public. Yes, yes, yeah. that's right. Yeah. yeah. And, if, and if you guys will come by here tomorrow, I'll swear you in. We'll get her done. Bring all your people if you can. Okay. Uh, I know. You can come one at a time. Okay, go ahead. All right. I'm well-sized more than Mount Pleasant. 
I'm totally against zoning. It's un-American, it's unconstitutional. You're hurting the poor people in Trimble County. You got people out there that has $150, $200 left over after they keep their lights on and their uh, pay their gas bill and stuff. When they want to build under their house or do whatever, they'll have to come up here and buy a permit. And you think those permit rates that's on there, them fees, will stay the same? That ain't gonna happen. Believe me. As soon as you all get a chance, I, I mean, you all do good work and I appreciate it, but I, I can't believe it ain't going to go up every year or every two years. And then, because that's what it is, it's for money. That's why they're doing it. Uh, yeah, you guys need to go to yeah. Frankfurt. We got started, we got a uh, chamber of commerce here now. Let's bring some businesses in here. Broaden our tax base. You're putting everything on, everybody that owns the land mm -hmm. and has uh, property tax and all that stuff. I'm no land burn. I don't have 250 acres. I got three. It ain't mine if something happens to my father-in-law. But anyway, <laughs> so I don't have nothing. But what I'm saying is, whether I got three acres or I got 500, I'm not for zoning. LG and E's back there and they tore up the road beside me. They own everything behind me. They tried to buy us out and they lowballed us. We didn't take it because we ain't in bad shape as Kelly is and them guys back there. So, just think, I mean, I love Trimble County, this is my home. I left Eastern Kentucky in 2009 when my mother died and this is, this is where I'll die and be buried right here. And I want to see Trimble County do good, but we got to have jobs. Everybody leaves to go to work. lg and &E down there at 6 o'clock, 421 expect and going out through here you, you'll get run over just it's caravans of cars leaving us and now that money is being spent in Trimble County lg and &E, they put off paying our property tax we can't do nothing about it but that's bull crap if we don't pay our tax somebody will buy it and I just think it's wrong and uh, you know you guys are giving tithes to the judge you serve at the pleasure of the judge as long, I'm talking about Matt Gossam. I, I don't yep. care if he keeps mad or not, but he's the judge. Just like if Eddie Callis would have won, you'd think that uh, Todd Pierce wouldn't been over the road garage and somebody would have got some job and somebody wouldn't have lost a job. You're crazy. Because that happens. It's just the way it is. It's politics. And uh, for you all that voted to abolish it, thank you. For you all that didn't, I don't know. Elections in four years. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Now, Kelly. On on uh, the thought that Jonathan Turner had, and I brought this up several years ago at one of these meetings, and then you could hear a pin drop, but we have the landfill out here at, at Sulphur. They charge, we get a tax for every cubic yard, maybe, of waste that's put in there. Why can't we get so much per cubic yard of what they're going to put in here? Because they're going to put like 910 million cubic yards of ash in this in my front door seriously yeah. i mean i'm thinking i'm not the same against this is serious i mean you know we need to tax base why can't we tax them for you remember when the, we met with the state guy at the gymnasium here what four or five years ago and what he said <coughs> about the tonnage it's not refuge so you can't charge them and and he actually made the the statement that we didn't have anything to stand on because we didn't have planning and zoning in place. They could do what they wanted. But if I, I wasn't there at the table, would we have had a, if we had planning zoning, would we have had a little bit of LGD wasn't at right. the table, but, but the guy, uh, I don't know if it's Tom Fitzgerald or, or the guy before him, I don't remember, but uh, he, he made that statement at the time. It was brought up, you know, why can't we get a fee off the tonnage they're putting in there? And you said because what reason? Well, he said because we didn't have planning. What did you say before people, that? That it's not refuge, it's not garbage, so it wouldn't matter. it's solid. So planning and zoning wouldn't have anything to do with it. It's not refuge. Well, he saying. said we could have, uh, he said we would have had a leg to stand on. Now, what that means, I'm not sure. So. Well, there, there was two. So it still comes back. Planning is only one. I mean, that was a good right. idea. I mean, like wouldn't be standing yeah. on nothing. Right. Yeah. So right. we're still back. Anything else? One. I, I, I just like to say one thing. Yeah. You four are elected officials. The people voted you all in. I think the people ought to have the say. You don't keep your personal opinion. It, you got your opinions, but the voters voted you in, and I think that's what 
you've got to look at. You've got four years here. Go with the majority of the voters, not your personal opinion. Or I'll pay Joe out my back pocket. I think what the, that's what you need to do. Think of the voters. We put you in because we think he's going to represent us, not your personal opinion. I'm through. All right. Anybody else have anything? Go ahead, Jesse. I'm Jesse Long. Um, Thank you, Jesse. Planning and zoning. Don't like it. Bought it in LaGrange. <laughs> Wanted to add on to my house. They said no. It wouldn't wouldn't meet in the subdivision. So then they call me a week later and say, hey, fifteen hundred bucks will sell you a variance and you can add on your house. It's an it's extortion. City of Carrollton, they have a palette of colors that you can paint your house in the city. That's what this commission can turn into. <clears throat> it's a monster. And you guys say, oh, well, it can change any time. Yes, it can. So if you get a group of me on that commission, which could happen, I'd have smokestacks all over this county making money. So it's just a monster that's just going to keep growing and growing. And it may not grow in the direction that you like. You say it's protecting farms. Well, that could be with the group that's on there now, but the next group that comes in there, they may be totally against farms. So I don't know why you want to give that, why you want to take that power away from the people that own their own property. Do you own behind you? No. All right. Say, they, some, say they come in off Priors Fork and make out a gravel pit. Yep. Would you like it? I'd move if I didn't like okay. it. Okay. That's All their right. property. I'm not a kind All of right. person that says, it, it, okay, it would, it would give I like you a Ford say. trucks. Everybody has to drive a Ford it truck. Would, it would give you, you a know, say. <laughs> But it also restricts me, and I don't want to restrict my neighbor. I don't right. want to restrict you. If right. you want to put a gravel pit on your property, hey, that may be your lifelong goal. Have at it. Right. But, you know, and if I see the property up for sale, that gives me the opportunity to buy it. Mm -hmm. right? right? But if there's restrictions, then it doesn't, right? No, not really. What do you mean? If it's zoned where I couldn't put a rock pit there, then it's restricted. Well, you have to get it rezoned. That's, that's exactly. Well, you prove my point. More then, right. then when, when when that happened, you would have a public say. Our right. neighbors right. would have a say. I just Bob. got one question. All right, go ahead. Has any member here read the land management I drew up 15, 16 years ago when Ray Clem was here? They all passed it. It's a soft form of zoning. It has every ordinance that you need to control everything in this county. Now that's a fact. I'm not bragging anything else. I'm just telling you the fact. Has any of you read it? I started looking at it you? the other day, Bob. No, sir. I you? I the other day. Yeah, yeah. No. Please read it. It's the land. You already land got management the ordinances in place I that have to be enforced. Yeah. You don't need something. You already got land management. It's pretty, pretty good ordinance. Listen to the people, please. We have our constitutional rights. You all work for us. Never forget that. You all work for us. We are Americans. I'm a veteran, Vietnam veteran. I fought for these rights. I got too old my bodies I didn't have before before I got back home. Please, I just ask you, look it up. You have it already. You have it. It's a soft form of zoning. You got every ordinance you need, Todd. I, yeah, you I got bet. every ordinance you need. I don't know what you hide. You all are hollering about zoning for. You already got the dang thing. That's my point of view. I didn't want to hurt anybody here. God bless everyone. Thank you, Bob. Every one of you. Thank, Thank you, Bob. Bob. All right, anybody else have one more thing to say? Okay. Yes, please. All your meetings going to be three and a half hours They long. probably will be. Okay. Amen. Amen. Bring lunch. Yeah, bring lunch. Could I, could I add in and we move the meeting maybe to a larger location? We probably will need to. I will entertain a motion to adjourn. Unless you all have anything else. Motion, second. All those in favor? Kirby or Kirby or Chris? They were one and two. I'm gonna call. Guys, thank you. Thank you. We wait. We may.